Welcome to my studio. Today I will demonstrate how to install and use the Graphis enabling extension within Visual Studio Code on a desktop personal computer running the Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. This extension enables the rendering of text files into graphical diagrams. Step 1. Set up dedicated profile in Visual Studio Code. Run Visual Studio Code. Now create a new folder on your local disk to store all data related to graphics diagrams. So uh, I open terminal, navigate to proper folder, and create graphics folder. Navigate to that folder. And copy to clipboard new created path. Click the gear icon in the bottom left corner. From the menu choose Profile Default and now from the submenu choose Position Profiles. Here click the button New Profile and in the text field called Name enter text string Graphis. This step is not mandatory but recommended. Choose an icon, unique icon. For example, that one. Next step is also not mandatory but recommended. I click into keyboard shortcuts which will be assigned to this profile and now I click create button the view changed a little bit now we see additional button at folder I click into it and from the from the clipboard I paste new created the path which was created in the previous step. Now I click Add Folder button, I close Profiles window and from the main menu File I choose Position Open Folder and in the Folder text field I again paste the content of the clipboard. Now I click select folder. Thanks to that, new created profile was linked to newly created folder. Step 2. Install the graphics ex extensions in Visual Studio Code. Click the extensions button in the left bar menu. Now close the, the recommended extensions, close the popular tab and in the search field enter graphics text string and press enter. From all the available choices, click into the first one to the top with dot icon named Graphics 
interactive preview and click install button after a while this extension is ready so now I can close this tab and choose the Explorer button from the left sidebar. Step 3. Check the Graphics Interactive Preview extension. At first create example text file. So from Explorer I click into new file icon. Here I enter first dot dot. Now in one of in the internet br browser I navigate to the web page which contains graphics visual ed editor link to this web page will be available in the description of this video I place the mouse cursor within the content of the current window I mark all the available content with keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus A I copy it into the clipboard with Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut and now I switch into Visual Studio Code and paste the content of the clipboard here. Now to enable more space I close the minimap to the right as well as minimize the left tab. I save the content and in the top right corner of the current window I click into small dot icon with tooltip preview graphics and after a short moment I the preview is displayed on the screen the preview window has some additional dynamic options which could be changed without rest, restart of Visual Studio Code they could be found here and there that step concludes this video thank you for your time and watching now please give a thumb up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have found it useful thank you bye